Would you drink this water? How about this water? No, I didn't think so. Your caveman brain is pretty good at figuring out what's safe to eat and drink. If food smells or looks gone off, you're not going to find it appealing. You're not going to eat it. If water looks dirty, you're not going to drink it. But sometimes water can be perfectly clean and perfectly healthy, but have a slight little colour. This discoloration can be due to iron or manganese or other minerals that are in the water. Now, there's nothing wrong with having metals and minerals in our water at the right level. It's what gives the water its distinctive taste. This is ultra pure water from the laboratory. It's been distilled. It's got no minerals. It's got no metals. It's ultra, ultra pure. And it tastes off. It tastes of nothing. It doesn't taste right at all. Water that we normally drink has minerals in it. And that's what gives it a taste. But if the colour of the water doesn't look right, sometimes people mightn't drink it or they might be afraid of it. So it is important to make sure that the water that we're supplying to people does have a colour that's appealing. Otherwise, people might go and buy bottled water in plastic bottles that's been shipped long distances, and that's not a very sustainable way to get a drink. But does water actually have a colour? Isn't it just clear? Doesn't everything just pass right through it? If we look at some water in a graduated cylinder in the laboratory, it looks clear from the side, but it looks darker from the top. That's because light passing through the water is being absorbed. So the more water you're looking through, the darker it will look. That's why it's dark from the top and less dark when viewed from the side. In the oceans, sunlight can penetrate deeper than about 200 metres. It's pitch black below that depth and plants don't have any sunlight to photosynthesise. We can see a similar effect in a swimming pool. When you go to a swimming pool, the water looks blue. The tiles in the swimming pool are white, just like the tiles on the deck that surrounds the swimming pool. If we go down the side of the swimming pool, you can see it dramatically that just below the water, the white tiles suddenly look blue. This is to do with the thickness of the water in the swimming pool. So the deeper the water, the darker it's going to look and the water is going to absorb the reds and greens, but the blue frequency of light isn't absorbed as easily and that's what comes back to your eye. So that's why the deeper the swimming pool, the darker blue it looks. Just to prove that this water isn't actually blue, if you float a white bucket inside in the swimming pool, it looks clear. If I pour some water from a beaker that I've taken from the pool, it looks clear as well. So water actually is blue in colour. But you can really only see it when you're looking through a great thickness of water in a swimming pool or in the ocean. In the laboratory, we can actually test the colour of water by using a special instrument called a spectrophotometer. This instrument passes light through a sample of the water to tell us what colour it's going to appear as. This way we can make sure that the water is not only safe by doing tests on bugs and chemicals, but also that the water is going to look like it's clean so that people will be sure to use it. So water actually is blue. And we not only check to make sure the water is safe, but that it looks right too.